Being set apart as one of God's chosen is a profound and often misunderstood calling. It means being selected for a higher purpose, walking a unique path that not everyone can comprehend. While this calling brings tremendous blessings, it also comes with challenges, including the need to separate from the crowd. Chosen ones often find themselves feeling out of place in large gatherings, not because they think they are better than others, but because their spirit is sensitive to the world around them. The anointing that rests upon their lives requires a level of protection that the average person may not understand. This separation isn't about isolation, it's about preservation. God's chosen are often called into seasons of solitude where they can grow, hear His voice clearly and prepare for the mission He has set before them. Being around too many people can dilute this divine connection. The noise, distractions and worldly influences can cloud the mind and weaken the spirit, making it difficult to stay aligned with God's will. Chosen ones are like finely tuned instruments. They require stillness to resonate with God's guidance fully. Crowds bring diverse energies, opinions, and sometimes even spiritual attacks that can disrupt the peace God has placed within. This is why many chosen ones find solace in quiet moments with God where their hearts can be still and their minds can focus on His voice. It's not about rejecting others, but recognizing that not everyone carries the same spiritual weight or understands the journey you are on. The chosen must be vigilant in guarding their peace, prioritizing their relationship with God above all else. So if you feel uncomfortable around large groups or often crave solitude, know that it's not a weakness, it's God's way of keeping you close to Him, sharpening you for the greater work ahead. Please press like and type out your first name followed by the words I was choosing. I believe in God, Amen. When we speak or write something, it's like we're talking directly to God. So let's make our faith known right here in the comments, just your first name and that special phrase, I believe in God, Amen. God chose me. Go ahead and share in the comments now. C.S. Lewis, a profound Christian thinker and writer, often spoke about the spiritual solitude required for those called by God, reflecting on how the inner life of a believer is shaped away from the noise of the world. Lewis believed that the journey of a Christian, especially those deeply called, requires intentional separation from the influences and distractions of society. In his works, particularly in the Screwtape Letters and Mere Christianity, Lewis emphasized that the spiritual battles faced by believers often occur in the quiet moments, away from the public eye, where true transformation takes place. He suggested that being around too many people can lead to a loss of focus on God's voice, as the pressures and opinions of others can drown out the subtle, guiding whispers of the Holy Spirit. For Lewis, the chosen ones must guard their hearts vigilantly, often stepping away from the crowd to cultivate a deeper, more intimate relationship with God. He understood that solitude isn't about isolation, but about creating space to align one's heart with divine truth. Lewis's insights remind us that the chosen are often called to walk a quieter, more reflective path, one that allows God's purpose to be fully realized in their lives. Throughout history, stories are told about special people, the chosen ones. Everyone says they're meant for amazing things, but their lives aren't always easy. They often feel alone and like they don't quite fit in. And you ever felt a presence so potent it cuts through the everyday chatter? They radiate an aura of captivating mystery, a depth that both compels connection and maintains an untouchable distance. This is a glimpse into the enigmatic world of the chosen ones. Let's delve deeper and explore why. This might be one reason their intense energy, like a strong vibe that fills the room whenever they show up. It makes everyone feel like something important is about to happen, even if they don't know what. Imagine being around them, it's a weird mix of being super impressed and a little freaked out. You want to be their friend, but there's also this part of you that wants to keep your distance. They're hard to miss no matter how hard you try to look away. The strong energy makes them walk a path alone, different from anyone else's. It's like they're on a special mission shrouded in mystery that others can't quite grasp. They really want to connect with someone who gets them, someone who shares their struggles and dreams. But because they're one of a kind, it's tough to find people who truly understand what they've been through. Being a chosen one might sound fancy at first, but it can actually be lonely and isolating. They carry a heavy weight that most people can't see a burden they often have to deal with by themselves. How do you know if you're a chosen one? Maybe you've got this feeling inside a kind of voice telling you to do something amazing. Life doesn't offer a map, but it might send you little hints and experiences that guide you towards your destiny. 
If you've ever felt a pull in your heart, like you were meant for something special, you might be a chosen one. There might be signs that solidify your, your unique path. Authenticity is your compass. You can easily spot genuineness in others because you prioritize it yourself. You're not content with blending and you seek a deeper meaning in everything you do. Life throws challenges your way, but you always come out tougher on the other side. You naturally want to lend a hand when others are struggling. Like a bright light in a dark room, your path isn't just about you, it's about showing the way for others too. Your never give up spirit helps pave the way forward. There's more to it than charisma. Chosen ones have a special energy that goes way beyond personality. It's like they can feel things most people can't. A weird feeling that both amazes and scares the people around them. They seem to carry wisdom from way back, like a bright light showing the ups and downs of life, but also a sign that things might get rough down the road. People are drawn to chosen ones, unable to resist the mystery, but often surprised by the emotional intensity of the encounter. Chosen ones don't just shed light, they dig deep, stirring up long forgotten desires and fears. This can leave others feeling exposed, wanting to retreat to familiar comforts. It's not just a physical escape, but an emotional and mental one too. Meeting a chosen one brings up two kinds of fear. It's not just the unknown, but also the fear of facing someone whose strength and depth expose your own weaknesses. It's a deep unease from being around something powerful, something revealing flaws you hide from the world. Why do they walk alone? The chosen one's strong presence acts like a mirror, reflecting people's shortcomings. This discomfort makes people withdraw, even in a crowd. The chosen one's powerful energy can make them feel isolated. Their ability to connect deeply can scare people away, leaving them on a solitary path. Their intense energy, although a gift, can also be a challenge. They often find comfort in solitude or with a small close circle because their important messages get lost in shallow conversations. In quieter settings, they can truly be themselves without pressure to fit in. They crave real connections, but their efforts can be misunderstood. They feel isolated when others don't understand them, even if they try their best to connect. The Chosen One builds a shield around themselves, not just for physical space, but to protect their energy and spiritual journey. They know their true value shines brightest where they're fully understood and respected, so they carefully choose where to invest their time, seeking out settings and people who resonate with them. In solitude or with a few trusted companions, they feel free to express themselves fully. Here they can share their profound insights and radiant energy without holding back. They're appreciated for who they truly are understood and value. Another reason they walk alone is the mix of fear and attraction they evoke. People are drawn to their light, yet scared of it too. Chosen ones are a paradox, a dazzling mix of brilliance that both stuns and confuses. Their charisma isn't fake, it's real and deep. Their presence demands attention, captivating others with a depth that goes beyond charm. People long for a connection with them, a connection that speaks to their soul. But as they get closer, they're hit with the full force of the Chosen One's essence, which can be overwhelming and challenge their carefully built illusions. When people look into the Chosen One's eyes, they see themselves reflected back. This can trigger fear, the fear of being truly seen, of facing the shadows they've hidden away. This fear often outweighs the initial attraction, leading people to retreat back to what's familiar and safe. So the Chosen One becomes a figure of both intrigue and fear. People are drawn to their light, but scared of what it might reveal about themselves. This creates a lonely existence where the Chosen One is sought after yet avoided. Their quest for deep connections is hindered by the very intensity of their being. It's not that they don't crave companionship, it's that their depth makes it difficult to find genuine connections that resonate with them. Whispers of something more, they connect with ancient whispers standing apart in their search for authenticity. Chosen ones possess a profound depth, resonating with unseen truths that go beyond the ordinary. Their quest for connection is a search for mirrors that reflect this depth, for hearts willing to embrace their intensity and share in their light and warmth. However, finding such connections is rare as rare as rare as the Chosen Ones themselves. This rarity isn't by chance, it's a result of their unique blend of strength, authenticity, and depth. Engaging with the Chosen One requires openness, courage, and a willingness to explore one's own soul. Many are drawn to them at first, but few are willing to take the journey to truly understand them. The intensity of their presence can illuminate the shadows people would rather leave unexplored, leading them to retreat to safer, 
more superficial connections. This difficulty in finding genuine relationships leaves the chosen one walking a fine line between longing for deep connections and accepting the solitude their intensity often brings. It's a solitude that offers refuge from the world's misunderstandings but also echoes with unshared depths. They become guardians of a special loneliness, holding on to their depth even when few can reciprocate. Yet within this challenge lies the beauty of their journey, unspoken battles, and the Chosen One's role. The solitary journey of the Chosen One is tied to a hidden kind of battle. It's a fight fought not with swords, but with honesty, integrity, and truth. Qualities that are natural to them, their presence doesn't just fill a space, it changes it, breaking illusions and shining a light of truth on the world's shadows. This change threatens the foundations of dishonesty. The Chosen One's genuineness acts like a mirror, reflecting the true selves of those they encounter. It exposes the masks people wear, confronting them with parts of themselves they bury deep. This discomfort leads to avoidance or anger as people struggle with the threat to their comfortable realities. For the Chosen One, this unspoken battle is a daily reality. Their mere presence challenges the status quo, demanding honesty in a world that often settles for being fake. They become unintentional warriors for truth, their armor forged from strong beliefs and their shield a deep sense of purpose. But this battle takes its toll, leaving them often standing alone on the battlefield, misunderstood by those they seek to free from dishonesty. The avoidance and anger they face aren't just reactions, they're proof of how powerful their essence is to disrupt the comfortable illusions of a fake life. So the Chosen Ones navigate a world where their honesty is both their strength and their burden. They fight in an unseen war as old as time itself, not for power, but for the liberation of the human spirit from the chains of falsehood. Their separation from the crowd stems from a powerful desire for authenticity. Chosen ones are driven to experience life to the fullest. Their nature is to challenge, question, and push beyond the mundane, making them naturally out of step with mainstream culture. In everyday social settings where conversations stay on the surface, the Chosen Ones struggle to find connection. They crave depth and meaning in a world focused on the fleeting and material. The disconnect Chosen Ones feel from societal norms isn't just in their minds, it's a physical discomfort, like trying to fit a soaring mountain into a cramped room. No matter how they try to adapt, it never feels right, leaving them perpetually uneasy. Because of this, they often seek solace in solitude or with a small circle who understand their unique perspective. In these spaces, they're free to be themselves, diving into deep conversations and exploring the mysteries of the unseen. They find nourishment for their souls in authenticity and truth. By embracing their misalignment with societal norms, chosen ones inspire courage in others who feel the same dissonance but fear stepping outside the mainstream. They show that true belonging isn't about fitting in with the outside world but honoring the extraordinary world within. There's another reason their inclination leans towards solitude, a deep call to a higher purpose. This isn't just a whisper, it's a burning fire within their soul, guiding them towards a destiny beyond the ordinary. Engaging in activities that don't align with this purpose feels like a betrayal of their core essence. So they naturally gravitate towards solitude, where they can focus on introspection, meditation, and honing their unique abilities. Here they find clarity and purpose, receiving insights and strengthening their resolve to fulfill their calling. Though solitary, this journey offers profound opportunities for self-discovery and growth. To navigate it successfully, they adopt strategies that not only ease the loneliness, but also celebrate the distinct qualities that set them apart. Strategies for the solitary path, self-acceptance is a foundational strategy for the chosen one cultivating self-acceptance, recognizing and cherishing their unique qualities. Through introspection and practices like meditation or journaling, they embrace their intense energy and depth as gifts. Finding peace in their own company becomes a source of strength, enabling them to engage with the world without losing themselves. Finding their tribe alongside self-acceptance comes with the search for like-minded individuals or communities. Despite their rarity, such connections do exist. Whether with other chosen ones or those who share their thirst for depth and authenticity, finding these connections requires patience and a willingness to explore beyond traditional social circles. Online forums, workshops, and gatherings focused on shared interests can be fertile ground for these connections, offering a sense of belonging and understanding often missing in everyday interactions. 
Additionally, chosen ones can use their isolation as an opportunity for creativity and spiritual growth. Through art, writing, or spiritual practices, they channel their energy and insights into creations that inspire and heal others, turning their solitude into a source of contribution to the world. Chosen ones, with their unseen power, serve as mirrors of truth in a world that often avoids authenticity. Their journey, though solitary, showcases the resilience of the human spirit. It reminds us that to find genuine connection, we must first embrace our own essence fully. Chosen ones are pioneers, visionaries, and guardians of authenticity, offering the potential for personal and collective transformation. As we wrap up the exploration, it's important to emphasize the significance of self-realization and acceptance for the chosen ones. Their journey, though challenging, is vital for inspiring others to embrace their truth and for creating a world where authenticity is valued and celebrated. Do you feel like a chosen one walking a path less traveled? Share your experiences, subscribe and continue in the comments below. God is speaking powerfully in this season and you don't want to miss the words he is releasing to strengthen, encourage and uplift his chosen ones. When you subscribe, you are stepping into a community of believers committed to walking out their faith together, supporting one another through trials and celebrating the victories that God brings. By liking, you're helping us spread blessings to more people right here. What would you do if you could change your life with just some minutes of prayer? Is it possible to unlock the power of miracles and healing with such a simple practice? Can you imagine experiencing the healing touch of God in such a short amount of time? In just some minutes, you'll learn a powerful prayer that can help you access the healing energy of God and transform your life forever. Whether you're struggling with physical, emotional, or spiritual challenges, this prayer has the potential to unlock miracles in your life. God says, take two minutes every day to pray and connect with me. This small act of faith can bring about powerful, miraculous healing in your life. Whether you are facing physical, emotional, or spiritual challenges, know that I am always here for you. Trust in my love and allow me to guide you on your journey today. God says, pray with faith and I will heal you. Trust in me and I will make you whole. Let my power work through you and you will witness miraculous healing beyond your imagination. Do you believe in miracles? Do you think anything is possible with God's help? Then don't miss this video. God has a plan for you that includes plenty of joy and prosperity. So trust him and allow him to work his magic in your life. Watch it till the end without skipping and you will get whatever you want this month. Sometimes all it takes is two minutes of prayer to experience a powerful and miraculous healing. God's love and grace are always available to those who seek it. And prayer is one of the most effective ways to connect with him. Whether you are struggling with physical, emotional, or spiritual challenges, take the time to pray and trust that God will guide you through the difficulties. Jesus says, my child, do not underestimate the power of prayer. In just two minutes, you can open your heart to me and receive my blessings. Speak to me honestly and openly and let me heal your wounds. Remember that I am always listening and I am always here for you. God's message today, I am the God of healing and miracles. Believe in me and I will work wonders in your life. Pray with confidence and you will experience my healing touch. Remember, God's timing is perfect and his ways are beyond our understanding. So even when things seem hopeless, keep the faith and know that God is working behind the scenes to bring about a beautiful outcome. God says something good will happen to you in the next six hours if you watch this video to the end. God says when you pray, do not just ask for what you want. Instead, ask for what is in your highest good. Trust that I know what is best for you and that I will provide it in my own way and in my own time. Let go of your worries and doubts and surrender to my will. Today, God says, my child, I am the same yesterday, today and forever. I am the God who heals and I can heal you too. Just have faith and pray to me and I will make you well. When we pray, we invite God's presence into our lives and allow his love to flow through us. We become vessels of his healing power and miracles can happen. So don't underestimate the power of prayer, even if it's just for two minutes. Jesus says, do not be afraid to ask for my help. No request is too big or too small for me. I am always ready to guide you, protect you and provide for you. Have faith in my love and know that I will never abandon you. Life is full of uncertainties, but with God's guidance, you can find peace and clarity in the midst of chaos. God's message for you today, do not be discouraged by your sickness or pain. Trust in me and I will heal you. Believe that I am able to do the impossible 
and I will make it happen for you. When we pray, we invite God's presence into our lives and allow his love to flow through us. We become vessels of his healing power and miracles can happen. So don't underestimate the power of prayer, even if it's just for two minutes. God says, remember that your prayers are not just about asking for things. They are also about giving thanks and expressing gratitude for all the blessings in your life. Take a moment to appreciate the good things you have and know that they come from me. Today, God says, when you pray for healing, do not doubt in your heart. Believe that I will answer your prayer and you will receive what you ask for. Have faith and you will see my power at work. Take a deep breath, close your eyes and speak to God from your heart. He is always listening and he will respond in his own way and in his own time. Trust in his goodness and have faith that he will work everything out for your highest good. Remember with God, all things are possible and miracles can happen in the blink of an eye. Gratitude is a powerful force that can bring more blessings into your life. When you express gratitude, you open your heart to my love and allow more goodness to flow to you. So take a moment to say thank you and watch as miracles unfold in your life. God's message today, I am the God who heals your diseases and forgives your sins. Come to me with a humble heart and I will restore your health and save your soul. In times of trouble, sometimes all we need is a powerful prayer to lift our spirits and bring us closer to the divine. God says that just two minutes of prayer can be enough to create a miraculous healing in our lives. Believe that your prayers are being heard and that positive change is on the way. God says do not worry about whether your prayers are the right kind of prayers. There is no one right way to pray. As long as you do so with sincerity and faith. Speak from your heart and know that I am listening. God's message for you today, do not give up on your prayers for healing. Keep asking, keep seeking, keep knocking, and I will answer you in my time and in my way. Trust in my wisdom and I will do what is best for you. Remember that prayer is not just about asking for things, but also about expressing gratitude for what we have and finding inner peace. Take this time to reflect on the blessings in your life. Jesus says, I do not judge your prayers based on their wording or their format. What matters to me is the sincerity and love in your heart. Speak to me as you would speak to a trusted friend and let me show you the way. Today, God says, my power is made perfect in your weakness. When you feel powerless and helpless, come to me in prayer and I will show you my strength and grace. Trust in my love and I will never leave you nor forsake you. Trust that God is guiding you on your path and that everything will work out for the highest good. With this mindset, anything is possible and miracles can happen in an instant. So take those two minutes each day to connect with the divine and watch your life transform in beautiful ways. Share this with someone who needs it. God says pray not just for yourself, but also for others. Your prayers can bring healing and blessings to those around you. Think of those who need your love and support and ask me to guide and protect them. God's message today, I am the God who hears your cries for help. Call on me in your time of need and I will answer you. Believe in my goodness and I will bless you beyond measure. Dear God, I come to you in this time of trouble seeking comfort, relief, and healing. I ask for your help in a humble way as I face the challenges ahead. Please give me the wisdom to make good choices and the strength to get through difficult times. I pray for restoration in every part of my life that has been changed by these circumstances. Help me emerge from this trial stronger and more resilient than before. Heal my mind, body, and soul. Comfort me in my pain and give me peace amid chaos. Surround me with your love and grace and provide me with the support and encouragement I need to endure and overcome. Lord, I have faith that nothing can separate me from you today. Teach me to choose your path so that each step I take brings me closer to you. Help me to walk in accordance with your word, not swayed by my feelings or emotions. Dear Father, I humbly ask for your divine guidance today. I'm grateful that you're always there listening to my prayers. I'm filled with joy knowing that you respond to my calls. Lord, be the center of my thoughts and actions today. Guide me with your wisdom and fill me with your grace. Your word is a lamp to my feet, a light on my path. May it guide me through this day. Thank you, Lord, for the simple joys of creation. Help me appreciate the beauty around me and reflect your love for others. I place my worries and concerns in your hands, knowing that you are in control. Fill me with your peace and joy, even in the face of challenges. May my actions and words be a testimony to your goodness. I ask for your protection over my loved ones and those I care about. Bless them with your love, mercy, and grace. Lord Jesus, be the center of my thoughts, actions, and intentions throughout this day. 
May I live in a way that brings glory to your name. May your presence be felt in every meeting, conversation, and decision I make. I surrender this day to you, Jesus. May my actions be a testament to your love. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I praise you, Lord Jesus. I know that you love me. I know that you hold me in the palm of, you, in the palm of your hand. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for being faithful. Thank you for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you think this message can comfort and inspire others, please like and share this video with your friends and family. Together we can spread the message of faith, love, and hope to those who are suffering.